everyone hope you are good and be happy always once again welcome to shachi's academy into the practical classes for manager economic for bba mba and com bcom students who basically require detailed understanding of economic concepts basically the marginal economics that is the larger portion of microeconomics and today we will discuss law of demand part 2 in which we will discuss individual and market demand schedules and individual and market demand curves so let's start with our topic that is demand schedule what is demand schedule anyway schedule is any statement in a tabular form okay so here a demand schedule is a tabular statement which shows different quantities of product demanded at various prices you might have noticed when you go to the market that uh, your behavior towards purchasing things is like that when prices are high you tend to purchase lower quantities of the commodities and prices are low you tend to purchase higher quantities what is that that is the inverse relationship between the price and the quantities demanded that we discussed in our demand uh, law of demand in our previous video but how because when uh, we purchase something and when we are student or anyone in this world we always have some scarcity of money and always remember one thing economics do not discuss your super rich people and super misers why because super rich people they have so much they have ample of money to fulfill their every demand almost every demand and misers do not spend normally do not spend at all literally many a times they will refrain from spending even if it is an essential commodity for their consumption so what do we consider we consider normal people in our economics those people like housewives or people who can spend when they require uh, certain things and those who value money okay so you need to value money to understand the law of demand so if you are a normal person uh, like a student like a job uh, like a professional or any youtuber like me or any professor like me so you can understand this law very easily so schedule is basically a statement which tells you in a tabular form that what will be the quantities you will purchase at different prices okay for the same commodity okay so here i have taken one student that is aryan here we have taken different combinations over a b c d e so what is demand schedule depicting over here is it shows different quantities of product any product can be there suppose these are the chocolates or the toffees you can say chocolates okay these are the chocolates fine ye these are the chocolates and the price of chocolates small chocolates you can say toffees you can say class type of thing so here it is first combination these are the combinations or you can say these are the conditions situations of prices conditions of prices when you will purchase different quantities okay so here take for example aryan is a student when price of chocolates uh, is rupees 5 per unit that means for a single chocolate price is 5 rupees then what is the quantity he tends to purchase or he may purchase suppose we are supposing over here there is a uh, uh, hypothesizing over here that if price is rupees 5 he will purchase 10 units Okay, ten in number. His quantity is ten. Okay, then in condition B, second condition is where suppose if price falls to rupees four per unit, rupees four per unit, then what is the quantity we can see over here? It is fifteen units he is purchasing. Thereafter, when price reduces or decrease to rupees three, what is the quantity over here? It is twenty units he is purchasing. Now you can see. the quantity purchase is increasing by and by when there is decrease in price so here law of demand is proved when price is decrease quantity demanded increases here quantity demand is increasing and price is decreasing okay it is falling and quantity demand is increasing it's rising then when price reduces to rupees 2 what is the quantity it is 35 units now he will purchase 35 chocolates and at e combination condition e if price reduces to the minimum level of rupee 1 then what is his purchase over here at 60 units in this condition we can say suppose he is giving small treat to his classmates for a simple test he has scored 10 out of 10 10 on 10 or 100 on 100 so he is giving a small treat and when he was uh, uh, he, he uh, witnessed that price is rupees 5 at that point of time he uh, decided to purchase only 10 chocolates when he saw uh, when he witnessed this price has reduced to a minimum level of rupee 1 then he wanted to give chocolates to all the classmates uh, 
uh, which he studies in his standard in his class so he is purchasing 60 chocolates now so you can see when price reduce your demand increases so this is a demand schedule demand schedule is normally uh, taken for drawing a demand curve so here we will see the demand curve over here now what is the demand curve demand curve reflects graphically the relationship between the quantity demanded of a commodity to its price or you can say it's a graphical representation for a demand curve or you can say the graphical representation of a demand schedule it's very simple in one line definition is graphical representation of demand schedule is your demand curve simple it's tabular it is tabular why it is tabular because it's given in the form of table okay here the combinations here row uh, columns are given and rows are given and here we will draw a graph so for graph you can either draw it freehand when i was doing my ma masters in economics so at that time we had to draw many diagrams so we used to do them freehand also but for here we can take our scale i have a bigger scale for board then we can draw this graph like this we have drawn a vertical axis what is a vertical axis standing axis axis all of you must be knowing vertical axis that is the erect one the standing uh, axis is vertical axis standing vertically and this is horizontal axis horizontal axis is always marked as axis x this is x axis and this is y axis this is vertical and this is horizontal always remember while drawing a demand curve that on vertical axis price is taken price in rupees price in dollars price in dinar again any currency of the world price is taken by drawing a demand curve and here we are taking price in rupees for per unit okay per unit right i'm writing over here then and this is origin from here your price will start your price will start moving upwards and quantity will start moving horizontally so this is quantity qty okay so here we can draw into this so here this is five four three two one prices like that so we will have this equal intervals over here on our graph one two three four and five so one rupee two rupee three rupee four and five rupees per unit this is the price and now you can see this arrow the direction of arrow you should see always so when direction of arrow is upwards that means price will move upwards okay so we are always in your graph normally the axis have arrows moving outwards outward in this direction and outward in upward direction okay so here quantity what is the quantity over 10 15 20 35 and 60 now we can have an interval of 10 units over here so here 10 20 30 40 i'm rubbing this you have to and lengthen this line like this 50 and here 60 right okay so here we have the quantities on horizontal axis price on vertical axis and now we will join them so these are the combinations so combination a what is it 5 and 10 for combination a, a 5 for rupees uh, price is 5 and quantity is 10 so join them like this 5 and 10 here 10 here 5 so this is the point yeah this is the point over here like this then add rupees 4 what is the quantity 15 draw it yourself also take a uh, notebook and draw it add rupees 4 it is 20 15 sorry 15 is mid point of 10 and 15 this these points so here 15 units and here we can draw it like this okay now this is this one then we have at rupees 3 it is 20 units at rupees 3 it is 20 units 20 and rupees 2 is 35 be quick 35 and at rupee 1 it is 60 rupee 1 it is 60 units now we can join all these points either with the help of scale or free and also just join them one by one here 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 and like this neatly okay so this is demand curve and which demand curve is this individual demand curve and this is individual demand schedule okay and this is individual demand curve right simple done you can draw in your own notebooks also
with me. Okay, that come to our market demand schedule and market demand curve. So, when uh, producers manufacture commodities, they are not manufactured for single individuals or single households. They manufacture the commodities for whole economy or for the whole market. So here, when we are managers, we need to see what is our sale in whole market, right? So for that, we will require our um, market demand curve and market demand schedule. And what is market demand schedule? It is also known as industry demand schedule and market demand curve is also known as industry demand curve, right? So for drawing industry or market demand curves, you need to have consumption or purchase schedule of many individuals or many households for whole economy. But it's not possible always for people like us to make uh, market demand curves for whole economy. Only government can make that. For that purpose, what you can do? You can uh, just gather data of three or four students of your class and you can also make a demand curve and demand schedule of your own. What you can do? You can ask your friends. Maybe your friend, another friend may be Arab or then we can say Raj, okay? So these are three friends. For Arab, also you can plot the purchases and for Raj also. So for example, Arab is 5 in combination A. Arab uh, yeah, wants to purchase only 2 chocolates. For rupees 4, he wants to purchase three, uh, 3 and for rupees 3, he wants to purchase 5. For 2, he wants to purchase 7 and for 1, he wants to purchase 10. Then for Raj, the purchases may be 3 units for V5. For 4, it may be your uh, 4. For 5, it may be your 6. For, uh, for 3, sorry. For 3, it may be 6. And for 2, it may be your uh, 9. And for 1, it may be 12. Or 15 you can see right so you can add them up for getting market demand curve and schedule you can add them up for this is a schedule tablet presentation we will add all their purchases right add them up now 10 plus 2 is 12 12 plus 3 is 15 15 years for whole market uh, for whole group you can say you can say a market only then 15 plus 3 is your 18 18 plus 4 is 22 now next 20 plus 5, 25, 25 plus 6 is 31, that's 35, uh, plus 7 is 42, 42, uh, plus 9 is uh, 51, if additions are wrong, please check them up, because I am making video, so it, they may be wrong also, then 60 plus 10 is 70, 70 plus 15 is your 85, Check your additions up. It doesn't make any difference because examiner also doesn't check them. Now, we have to draw a market demand curve also. Now, for again that, we will make a demand curve. So, there are two methods of making the market demand curve. What are the two methods? You can either draw three graphs. First of all, draw three graphs, individual graphs. That is for Aryan, Arab and Raj. Okay. And then add them up to make a bigger graph, right? But the simpler method is you can draw, add them up all and make a single graph for all of them. Because in exams, you may not get that much of time that you can draw individual graphs and all. For that, you need, need really need a very good speed, okay? So you can make individual graphs also like this, okay? For individual persons, individual frames. And then you can sum them up and make this graph, final graph I am making over here. In digital graphs, it's up to you, you can draw or not. Now, we can see that what is the range over here, 15, 22, 31, 51, 85. So, 85 is the highest digit over here. So, we need to draw a graph which includes at least 90 units. Okay, here. Now, here this is interval 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, this is arrow, this is horizontal axis, this is vertical axis, this is price per unit again, in rupees, this is uh, 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 origin, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and drop this up. To make it 90. This point is 90 over here. Now, 
this is our quantity qt by okay the space is not much now what we can do we can just plot our graph now so at rupees 5 quantity is 15 15 over here mid value 5 15 at 4 it is 22 at 4 rupees it is 22 plot over here then at 3 it is 31 51 85 that's 31 for your 3 15 and 85, no? yeah, 15 and 85. For 2 it is 51 and for 1 it is 85. Okay, this is demand curve, and which demand curve is this? This is market demand curve for the whole market, and there are many individuals which can be included. You can conduct a survey in your class, and then you can make this individual market demand curve in exams also. You don't need to mark these quantities; you just can make your own quantities. But remember only one thing: that price tends to fall in your demand curve, demand schedule, and quantity tends to increase with fall in price. When price is falling, your demand will increase. Okay, this is the the normal uh, demand curve. Okay, price will, for normal commodities. Okay, then for uh, other people also, initially demand increases at a lower speed. Okay, but after a point, demand increases very fast with decrease in price. So you can see over here, demand increase. This is the magnitude of increase in demand. See, here this in increase this much. Here this much. Here it was increasing very very lower amounts were increased. Okay, this much, this much. With decrease in price, your demand will increase very fast. Okay, so this is your market demand curve and market demand schedule. And I hope you might have understood this topic really nicely. But even that, if you have certain queries, you can always write to me in comments or you can send the request in our. on our email id also and when i when i'll get time i'll make the videos for that thank you so much take care god bless you thanks for um watching the videos subscribing and sharing my videos thank you so much take care god bless you